store right here at Bass Pro Shop 2023 April. I want to take a look at what they have available for the fishing season. Let's go. No, 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 no. What? Look at this. Continental trailer, $1,155. And it comes, well, it doesn't come with this plastic boat, but you could get this dolphin plastic boat. Let me show you something quick over here. See? This dolphin boat is $749. And this package you see right here, $3,461. And it includes the trailer, the boat, and the engine. This engine is a Mercury 5 horsepower, which I will basically get a 6 because it's probably the same weight anyways. But look at this. This boat could hold 397 pounds, but it, look how generic it is. See, just very generic boat. In here you could put a trolling motor, and I guess this is for rods. Got a molded in seat here and over here, and on the back a drain plug. Yeah, that's a drain plug, and it has this nice mount right here for the outboard. I figured this thing could probably go 10 miles an hour or so, but look, compare this setup to a Tufi. Tufi is, let's say, double the price, $7,000, right? But you get a stronger motor, a better boat, a longer boat, a way better value, I would say. You get what you pay for, basically. But it would be nice to test this on the water anyways. Let's, let's see what else they have over here. This is how that dolphin, American 32 dolphin boat looks like on the bottom. Look at that. Boom. Guys, we're right here at Bass Pro Shops. And I just want to show you what they have laying around for you to buy here in Miami. This is 2023 April. Pond Prowler. You can put an outboard on this thing. Two person, 500 pounds. These are nice to fish off if you have like a nice pond. Really nice to do it that way. 800 bucks. So that one is 749. The cool thing about this boat and it, it has flush and mounted flush mounted rudder holder is that I mean it's not a lot of money so you could drill and do stuff to, to it and not feel bad about it. So that's a cool thing about having one of these boats and I like how they put the connectors for the trolling motor. But like something like this, why do they have the transom mount style? Why not just have like a flat area where you could put a remote control trolling motor? This is another one that they have. This one is the Plotter 8, $629. It's a smaller boat and compare the size. This is the 8, that's the 10, 10 foot versus 8 foot. Look at that. And it's a different design too. You got bars here. I don't think it's gonna hold as many people. It's over here, let's go check it out. Let's see, two people, 400 pounds. This is, like if you have a pond, you could also put a trolling motor on the back or you could put an outboard. Now, they also have paddle boards. Ascent paddle boards. These are inflatable for the look of it. Yep, these are inflatable. Dude, these things are amazing. Inflatable paddle board. You could get like a Bisbee battery and one of those inflatable thingy of Amazon. And you could travel anywhere with this stuff check your local regulation but the idea is that you could just have this on a bag right and you just go fishing anywhere you want to fish just push a button and it gets inflated for you and then you're on the water as opposed to having like a hard shell like this one this lifetime 449 dollars dolphins hard shell is nice to have because you could like drill and put stuff into them but it's solid like that. You need a space. You won't be able to transport it as easy as one of these. 11 inch ISO, 549 dollars, 399 dollars. What I don't see here is where to put sort of like um, if you want to put a kayak seat or something like that. It doesn't have that. I think every single paddleboard should include the attachment to you put a kayak seat. Talking about kayaks, look at this. This is a sitting side kayak, Ascent. It has a match seat, not the best seat in the world, but it has a seat. And over here, you got another one. See, it's the same one, but different color. You got gear tracks. You got this right here to put your keys and stuff. And then on the bow, if you want to put your paddle, your dry bag, whatever you want to put there. And it also has the click right here for the anchor system. And if it is not a fishing kayak if it doesn't have the flush mounted rod holders. Look at that. All right, so let's keep going. Look, 
I bought one of these bottles at uh, Walmart the other day and I wish I would have seen this one because this one looks solid man I have this for my 23300 cool stuff and talking about cool paddles look at this assassin paddle that paddle is amazing it's very strong and it's built to last dude and it's carbon sort of like not 100% carbon fiber but something like that it's not that heavy and it's long and you could stand that paddle make it way longer than what it is you got regular ascent paddles so let's keep going look at this man canoes dude canoes this canoe right here $6.99 with two seats one plastic seat in the front one on the actually you could put a middle person here and one on the back dude nice andres what's up what do you think about this canoe I, I, one thing is missing for sure dude right? what was missing on this canoe um well you don't have to shop it if you get a pack motor you could put it there easy or you could just get a mount and put a trolling motor on the side and thank you for discovering the middle session here I didn't know it had a middle session here oh sweet you could put your drinks well what do you think $700 too much money all right guys so it's summer is coming up so they also have the grills laid out the Traeger I want to get me a Traeger should I get me a Traeger coming below tell me about your experiences with the Traegers but anyways before you click off let's kick, let's kick going over here we got the trusted 133x tournament sit on top kayak I have one of these I need to make more videos about it I need to do a full review because the one that I got from this store it wasn't 100% built nicely let's put it that way so this is one of the ascents that they have t seat on top t uh, 10t the seat this seat is nice actually it's not that bad compared to the other seat that is not as good oh look at that somebody uh is gonna buy that kayak freddy anybody could be freddy so and these are a cool idea like if you have a nice area that you want to see the bottom of it crystal kayak $1,099 what i'm saying $1,799 cool man this is like can you imagine getting one of these and going to your snapper hole and just stay there and fish you can see when that snapper is gonna eat the bait we should totally do a video with one of these crystal thing oh god this is new i didn't know they have this this is a clister clear paddleboard sweet i guess it's to to uh lift it i didn't know they had these wow i mean of course they need to have safety put into this boat that's why they have this here so you don't fall off but i didn't know about them making a paddleboard that's super cool wow. another sitting side kayak from Ascent, the 10 and let's keep going over here i don't know why people have to come close when you're recording this is a 12 hour sport this is kind of like one of those crazy looking kayaks very bare but a giant tank well I always wanted to get one of these and make videos, but man, I have so many kayaks that I really don't don't have the time to. Like, I don't know. This would be an even better idea because it's three hundred forty-nine dollars on sale, and I could put I could turn this into like a mini boat and make a video for YouTube. But I mean, if those videos don't get views, what's the point, right? I have fun building it, but then you spend five hundred dollars and the video nobody watches it, then you lose all that money, and then you won't be able to do the other stuff. This one is kind of like a hybrid H12. You see, it has the canoe kayak like design. Club offer $6.99. Boom. Let's keep going. Let's see what else they have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They got a few. These are the 133X tournament. You can see it right here on the shelf. When you buy one of these, guys, make sure that all the fittings that you have, ever, that everything that's supposed to come with the boat comes with the boat. Make sure that you go through every inch of this boat that is well built and nothing is missing, nothing is broken because if you don't, you're gonna have issues. Also, don't think that putting a trolling motor right there in the front is gonna be super easy. Those screws right there, sometimes are a problem to work with. Make sure you get the right ones because it may not be what you think it is. So just take your time with it. Make sure that before you take it home, you check every box. If not, you're gonna have problems. So spend more money and you get better rates. 
zero percent for 12 months or 9.99 if you want to have that if you not kind of pay it in 12 months you get a higher rate because otherwise you pay 20 or 30 percent whatever your credit card rate is but that's cool this is a really cool this design a really cool idea i enjoy using mine but it's not a premium boat okay so you're not gonna get hobie like old town like quality out of that just saying that for the record it's 128x 999999 so this is kind of like the same idea that they have with, with the 133 but like sort of like a smaller type of kayak you got the transom mount where you could like put a trolley motor like or, or, or a bispy or a torpedo whatever you want to put in there but you don't have the flat from area to put the autopilot trolley motor see you don't have it over there but still cool man it's cool it's, it's less money too one thousand dollars compared to I think this one is like 12.99 let's keep going actually it's $1,099 versus $1,000 so for a hundred bucks I would just go for the 133x 